Um, I mean, I gotta say South Carolina. No matter what kind of year they're having over there, whatever, no matter what's going on, uh, they're loud and ready to go. Sam's don't be scared when they go, especially for night games. Um, you know, it's not the biggest stadium, but there's something about that place that you know, they get loud and they're ready for us. You guys played so well uh, against Missouri. Was it weird to see at the end of the year, you know, them being in the, the SEC championship game, you know, even though you guys had beat them in their place? I mean, no. I mean, we knew the way it was set up that, you know, we, we lost some games early and we didn't control our own destiny. So, really, that, that was in our, on our hands. Um, you know, and they earned it. They earned their spot there. And, uh, I mean, they've had some great years. And, uh, I mean, yeah, we beat them. But when it comes down to it, they won more of the games than we did. Um, so, they deserve to be there. I know y'all y'all wouldn't play LSU into the SEC championship if you if you made it there. But do you pay attention to, to some of these other teams that you don't play and, and, and keep an eye on them? I mean, somewhat. I mean, you know some of the guys on the teams and you keep scores. Um, but if I have a bye week and I'm not honestly I'm not watching college football that Saturday, you know, I just kind of like to relax. Um, but I mean, you hear stuff, you see stuff. You know, the sports that is on every morning, so um, we we do see this stuff. Kind of like Leonard Fournette. What do you what do you think about him? Uh, I mean, from what I've seen, the few clips I've seen, the kid's a great running back. You know, we're blessed to have some of our own, but I mean, this league's stacked with running backs in that position. Nobody can argue that. Um, it's really fun to watch those guys make plays this year. How pivotal has that Missouri game become? Because the four school, the two schools have combined, I think, the last four of these titles. Yeah, I mean, it's become huge. Um, I know we were talking earlier, I think we might have the most rivalries of any school. And, you know, Missouri is starting to become one of those. You know, every, every year, um, it's a huge game. It plays a huge role in our league. Um, um, put it in savings. Uh, try to save as much as I can. Um, I would be nice that's nice to have a little bit of money in your pockets. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I plan on trying to save as much as I can for post football because I'm gonna need that money then. Um, so you know, if I need the money to buy something, I need toothpaste or something, I'll go buy it. But what I can say, I'm gonna say. How do you think the majority of student athletes will spend the money? Well, I will say this: we're getting this money, and you know, Coach Reed being the coach you know, he is, he's talked to me personally. They're gonna bring in some people to talk to us about saving money, because as a as a freshman, if you start saving, you can you can have a large sum of money saved by the end of the year. Um, you know, some guys like to spend the money, and some guys have good things that they like, whether it be watches or whatever it may be. Um, and they might choose to spend on that, but I think Coach Rick's going to educate the guys and uh, make them try to make them realize, you know, the money that they can save. You know, most kids come out of college with student debt. You can come out of college with 20 grand in your bank account. Um, that's a pretty special thing. So I think Coach Rick will do an excellent job with that. I think uh, Coach had said Brandon's going to start fall camp at center. Uh, you know, I know he's obviously playing the interior and guard, but you know, how does he project to center in your mind? Um, Brandon's a, a very smart player, which you have to be to play um, center. Um, he's a little bit smaller, but he's stronger than us. Um, and he's got the nickname Bull, so he's got a little nasty streak to him. So I think he fits it perfectly. Um, he's a hard-working blue-collar kid. He's come to work every day. Um, and I have a lot of confidence in him. How do you, how do you feel about